Hey, welcome back, another day, another vlog. This year, Friday edition for this week, the 10th of April. Punching on through the month, it's flying April, isn't it? Um, that's good, that's good. The faster we get through these months, I mean months, the better, I think. Bring on September, sounds good to me. Um, yeah, what bit to do, there's a heap of Apple stuff we're gonna go through. Uh, a bit of stuff happening with the COVID situation, including an AFL star dodging the system hard. Uh, yeah, pretty piss week, I thought. Um, but we'll move straight into fun stuff. Uh, last night, the new video, as I said, the night before I had a day off, just a bit bored, run out of juice. Uh, hit it hard last night, I think I was up till two. I did about six hours of photo editing, and I got about halfway through the photos. <laughs> um, and I think from that is, the more I'm learning now, I'm, I've started teaching myself lum luminosity masks. Um, I'm getting better at Photoshop with masks and doing stuff and brushing and techniques and taking bits and cleaning up the images and making sure that these images are spot the dog before you get to see them. Um, and getting exactly what the what I wanted to sort of get out to you, I guess, is the, is the key word. Um, the longer it takes me. So I think I did two photos and it was multiple brackets. It was like 10 photos for one of them, multiple bracketed and it was bracketed shots to get the right uh, colors and the right exposure. And then it also had focus stacking and then I had to put, go through and brush stuff and then mask it and clean it and all that sort of stuff. Uh, if you use for uh, Photoshop and Lightroom, you obviously you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. It can take a fair while just to do one photo. It sounds like oh, what, it took six hours to do. I think it was probably 20 to 30 photos. I guess I went through and, and played around, and that's basically my first edit. And I'll come back and whittle them down and go back through them and see if there's any other ways I can clean them up. Um, but yeah, so that was a fair bit of time. But it's good because it means that there's something in those photos. Sometimes, and I think now at the moment when you've got so much time, if old photos that you never thought might be and you're learning new techniques with all that free training over at Skillshare. Remember, don't forget, Skillshare's got that two months of free training on, on thing. Go check that out. Uh, great time to learn Lightroom or Photoshop if you've never used it like I hadn't until, I guess, a year ago. A year and a bit, year and a half now. Um, so it, it's taken me that long to get sort of comfortable with using Lightroom and I can use Lightroom and go through and play with that really good. I'm, I can go through and dodge and burn and do that sort of stuff. And now Photoshop's another big process for me that I'm learning as well as I've had to learn Premiere Pro as well in the same avenue. So I'm getting there, um, but it's, it's fun and it's exciting to learn all these new things, but it's also, it does take time and I'll, I easily six hours I could have sat there all night and not slept and got them done but you just can't do that because you've got to function during the day you've got a two-year-old to look after um, he's full energy at six seven thirty in the morning or seven o'clock in the morning he's bouncing around singing to himself he's ready to play uh, yeah you've got to have save some juice left for the little guy because he's the most important part of my life so I'm gonna make sure he's happy as well so I'm happy with that, I'll get a bit done. I'll do another big session on it tonight. Hopefully that'll smash out the photos. And then I guess, depending on what I'm doing on the weekend, which is probably gonna be nothing as normal, maybe some exercise, that's about it. Um, I'll get in and smash the video out and try and get the video ready for maybe early next week, I'd say. See how we go, time frame, see what happens on the weekend. But it's looking good. Having a lot of photos to choose from is good. It gives me a ch more chance to show you, I guess, my interpretation of the hike and stuff and what I got to see and to show off this beautiful part of Australia in Perth. So yeah, I hope you enjoy it anyway, but I think you will, there's some good photos there, definitely happy with how a few of them have turned out so far. Rightio, um, whew, geez, it's hot out here in the shed today. I need to get a fan down here that doesn't make noise. Anyways. Um, <laughs> Apple, let's get into the big stuff. Apple, what's going on there? Some Series 6 Apple Watch talks. Oh, beautiful water. 
Um, series one, it uh, the watch I was really happy to get, and I was I guess an early adopter that got it. I, it was pretty much useless because it's not waterproof. Uh, and as of this next iteration and of watch seven when that comes out and these new watches this will I think is the last time it'll be supported from what they were saying so looks like this is going to be the end of this girl she still goes and I can play my music from my headphones which is all I need out of it um, my original idea of having the Apple watch the smartwatch was I was traveling backwards and forwards from Queensland um, and the time zones and changing forever having to go in and change my watch where with this it would just change for me and I wouldn't have to go and change it. It sounds lazy but it was super important because I was traveling all the time to work and then overseas as well on holidays and stuff back then before a two year old come along and made it really super easy and able to see messages without having to dive into a pocket so you can just see what's going on and then keep working and answer it if it's important you can get it straight away if it's not well then you can just leave it so that was a good the best part of it the better part came when you could put music on there and store it that was that's awesome as well and that's now my number one function the apps all apple watches i don't think i use one single app uh even the exercise ones like they're pretty much useless anyway i mean i'm not an olympic athlete anymore my days of High level sport are well and truly over. Um, <laughs> I don't need to know exact details on my running speeds and times. I just go for a run for fun and to stay fit. I don't need to time it to know that I've had a good amount of exercise. But they are good. Uh, the waterproof version really good. Um, I have look. I'm constantly looking on eBay to see if I can get like a Series Four for cheaper. I guess once now this new model gets announced they'll all drop down in price. I think that either four or five and get that for a couple hundred bucks. I think that'll be about the right price and um, yeah, see what happens. But um, heaps happening with it. Now there's rumours and there's um, I guess definitely wild rumours about possibly having a round version of the watch. Uh, guys in Zona Tech put out a render of a, a round, what they thought was round. It had a really thick bezel, much like this Series One, and it looked really fat and a little bit. If they could, if they could do a round version for, especially for the ladies, they, I think they enjoy the rounder version a lot more. Um, you see that in a lot more ladies' watches, but it'd have to be thinner. And you could probably do that by a number of things by taking a few things out um, that you probably, probably don't need. Um, and I would include something like a mirror face instead of always on, have it as a mirror face always so they can check their makeup and stuff, something like that. But uh, round, I think, would be a good option to add to the collection. Uh, watch all the mechanical watches around, um, so it's strange they haven't gone that way already. So for whatever reason, I think you may see the technology had to wait a little bit we might see that iteration come out soon or maybe in this year or the next year also the next one is micro leds now micro leds are the next big thing in televisions they're super mega expensive we've talked about them on this channel a fair bit in from the ces in january uh, micro leds we've got mini led you've got oled then mini led micro led OLED Mini LED, very similar. Mini LED is sort of the next half step into it, into the next technology, is a little bit cheaper. Micro LED is super awesome uh, because you can basically dim the area to individual LEDs. So that is super for your perfect blacks without any ghosting or anything. So it's a way now on a small form factor like a watch, it's not gonna be as bad cost wise and I think it's readily, it could be definitely achievable nowadays. So I would not be surprised if the next iteration is micro LED. Uh, so that, that might be coming and it might actually put the price up a little bit so they can keep their current range at series five in there at an at a average price to keep their funds coming through. as a cheaper option for people. Uh, it's going to have a blood oxygen meter in it. Again, fantastic. Uh, not many older generation that I know have run this. I know my dad won't even use FaceTime. Uh, he's got it turned off. So it's sort of, it's one of those things where my generation will be great once we're older. Um, and I guess there's those few 
random people that are super into technology that are older that want to try these things I think it's a good thing and it's definitely good to have as an option as a selling thing I don't think it's a big thing uh, for most people that are buying these they're not really concerned other than just a bit of fun but it's good that that's in there and it's an option uh, it's going to have a tachymeter uh, option for your faces so you'll be able to get them, that on there um, flag faces some new, a, lot, a lot more f uh, face stuff that will come into the new model just it's all just sort of I guess um, aesthetic stuff so nothing really technology in there uh, they're saying it's going to be more powerful and I think that'll be where it may differ if they go maybe a round version where you wouldn't have to change the power or the internals in it but just having that round option would be a big change for them and that would be enough until the actual next technology next big chip and battery move would allow them to get in and give another year before that happens um, I think it needs to go to like a 5G as well. Uh, they need to look at how they're going to implement 5G into that phone. Currently, making a phone call on them in Australia is bloody terrible. The microphone's woeful and people can't hear a word you're saying half the time. Um, even when I had the LCD on my Series 3, it was it was woeful. Uh, just yeah, so I just give up doing it and just. I don't even answer the phone with it anymore. Just it's woeful. On definitely on series one, I can't even answer a call. No one can hear. So they need to do something with that on the phone side if they're going to keep using it as a phone. It is handy as a phone if you're out and doing the washing of the line and someone important rings you, you can answer it. So that feature is good, but they just definitely need to do some work on getting that better because it just does not work uh, the way it should. Um, Right, uh, it's also, and the other big thing in the new one they're talking about is sleep tracking. Obviously you'll have to wear it to do your sleep tracking. If you need to do sleep tracking, again, it's probably for people that are having trouble sleeping, that's a really good thing. They won't mind, get up in the morning, chuck it on the stand and recharge it. So if they're gonna have you, so you're doing this sleep tracking stuff, they need to obviously have a, a way to super fast charge this thing so like a 15 to 30 minutes while you have a shower get breakfast before you get to work and then whack it back on for a full day charge if they can get it down to a half an hour to 45 minute charge for a full charge from zero or half that'd be great because then that way you can wear it overnight do your tracking or whatever you want to do put it on the charger as soon as you get up do your business Beautiful, that will work, uh, It's but they'll need that super fast charging and it currently does take, well, my Series 1 does take a while to charge. Um, the others might be a little bit better now, but um, I think my Series 3 wasn't too bad, um, but still needs to be a super quick charge if they're going to run that stuff. Um, and also talking about better waterproof mode in it, so um, obviously it's down to a resistance but they want to be able to do it so you can do snorkeling and diving and stuff like that so they're looking at that how that'll work they'll probably have to maybe do a, a scuba version where you can't do a phone call because obviously that speaker coming in is going to give you access to water so they may have to get rid of that and it might be a special product that they can do but it probably wouldn't be a good bat a good thing you could link up somehow and you could have all your timers and stuff on there you could they could they have myriad of options you could go and I think it's a big community the diving having that option wouldn't be a bad thing to do and the last but not least is kids mode they're gonna in the new series they're gonna have more kids kids mode and parental controls obviously they'll be able to lock them out they're, gonna, they're talking about having a school time area so you can between the hours when the kids are gonna go to school they can wear their watch and as soon as it Class is supposed to start at 9 o'clock till 3.30. From 9 till 3.30, the, um, your watch will only do certain applications. It won't do anything else. So that's really good. You could probably set it up for a, small, or a little lunch or big lunch, but you could have 15 minutes where they can play with it and just un it unlocks in. So it'd be a bit of fun for them as well. And battery life, more battery life. Obviously, more features. You need more battery, so that all... There's more, yeah. Use the usual stuff, battery life, that's pretty much everything. Always gonna get better. Radio, whew, huge. So you can see a lot happening with the Series 6 Apple Watch. Uh, when will it come out? Uh, I'd say it's not gonna be till the second half of the year. The, there was more talk again today about that 14 inch laptop coming out. Um, they're saying the Mac Air, keep an eye on that Mac Air that it just come out. It is good, but it is has an overheating issue. 
even looking at web browsers, uh, it was getting up to 100 degrees Celsius. They did mention to try turning the turbo boost off, uh, but if you are looking for a small lightweight powerhouse, wait for that 14 inch that comes out because we need that will then have the better cooling. And that's about it. Um, COVID, big news quickly on COVID. The $5,000 fines in New South Wales. People are spitting all over doctors, nurses, police. They've increased up to 5,000 if you get done for spitting. So just don't do it. That's just filthy. What a bunch of pricks. Uh, national toll's gone to 53. 95,000 have passed away worldwide. Um, it looks a little bit flat in the state, so it's a little bit better. And last but not least, Nat Fife got caught surfing in Margaret River and let off. Uh, <laughs> apparently was with a truck picking up dirt and while the truck was getting loaded, went for a surf because that was his exercise. Happened to meet a mate that lives in Margaret River to go surfing with. Uh, I guarantee if he wasn't an AFL superstar, he would have been copping a $50,000 fine. That is the biggest cop off ever. He, do, he wouldn't comment his management and the Fremantle Football Club saying, oh, he was, you know, he's working for his dad. That's fine if he's working for his dad. Let's make sure he pays his taxes because he obviously got a job number with that person and he's paying tax through his old man and getting paid through that company if he's actually working and it's not just a big bullshit story, which we all know it is. Um, yeah, pretty piss poor. Like, God, I mean, everyone else has got to suck and see. You got old people that can't leave the house. You got people that want to leave the house that can't do it. You can go for a jog and exercise, but when these superstars are just taking a piss, when they're supposed to be working, doing their job, um, yeah, it's pretty dismal. But anyway, uh, he's young. That young people, they just, yeah, I don't know. He needs to needs to think about these things before he does. As soon as he got on the beach, everyone knew who he was, so he was never going to get away with it. But he has got away with it, so. Wow, that's the beauty of being a superstar. You can do whatever you like. Radio, um, I will see you all Monday. Have a safe weekend. Wash those hands, keep clean, and stay safe. Ring your family, FaceTime your family, Zoom your family. Just don't be naked when you're doing it because it'll go on the internet. Um, Messenger, Facebook Messenger, you can do video chats. It's plenty of options out there to talk to your mates, your family.